Hello everyone, and welcome back to uh, Hyrule Warriors. This is, again, the Definitive Edition, and uh, we're on episode 17, where we're going to step into uh, a little bit of adventure mode for a moment. Um, I do believe you mean 18, because 17 was last time. 18, you're right, 17 was last time. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, 18, excuse me. But yeah, we're gonna step into, uh, a little bit of adventure mode. Uh, it's a couple of levels here that I wanted to, uh, go ahead and, uh, touch on. Um, one thing I wanted to do is, uh, there's a couple of levels here that, or at least it looks like we have one unlocked, um, that give fairy food. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and collect some of that, and, uh, there is a hat over here, um, so I'm going to go ahead and collect that as well, since we have to, uh, um, since we have to, uh, beat that, uh, level down there anyway to, oh, I should have just done that level first, because it would give me the candle. Um, yeah. but since we have to do this level anyway to get this way to get the uh, harp that we're going to need later. Um, I might as well just do this level and uh, again, very close there that I want to collect. So uh, I know we've already done this uh, level. This is again, duel with the Dragon Knight like we did before. Um, but uh, we're just going to run through this real fast and uh, mm -hmm. collect some things. Uh, I've got to stop and do a weapon fusing. Um, so this is actually the first time I will have shown off the uh, weapon fusing. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. I remember this. This is what, like this is where you take um, a, this is where you take a weapon with blank spot spots and then and then use them uh, a weapon with with skills and then fuse those those and fuse those skills into the new weapon. Yep. And it's if really it's strong attack four that I want. Um, so I'll do fire plus. So we have the Hylian crossbows, which have three slots, whereas all of our regular crossbows have one. Because it had no slots or no materials, or yeah, it had no skills in it, I was able to put three different skills into it. So now we have rupees plus to give us more rupees. We have materials plus to. Uh, upgrade the drop type of materials and then we also have fire plus and if, I, if anybody wonders well why didn't you grab like say two rupees plus because it did have two rupees plus the answer is that if you add more than one of a uh, certain type it actually does not increase it anymore um, so adding two rupees plus does not increase the amount of rupee drops that you get, unfortunately. Unfortunately, skills don't stack anymore. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that guy glitched out there for a moment. Holy crap. Yeah, that was a little odd. So. Yeah, well, at least we know what we can do for, for this one. Get, like, get, like, get stuck. I get the stuff, get the... go. Get... I get... a uh, little, 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 little... Get... I get the kills, get the... Get... I get... I get... Yada, 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 and with... And with... And with higher stuff this time, we don't... We don't need to worry about... We don't necessarily need to worry about them, uh... That whole time limit deal. Yeah. Should be able to get... I feel like we should be able to get through this a little faster. Um, because again, we have, um, higher powered weapons this time around. So, not as fast as I could get through this with, on my home file. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> I didn't even have to help out the Kugos. The game was like, the Kugos are ready for you to escort them. So I was like, oh, I gotta go escort the Kugos. And then it's just like... Kukos have no. rendezvoused. Okay. Like, oh. Like, oh, okay. Um, um, guess either I already cleared, we already cleared them, cleared them out, or they, or they just spawned really close to each other. Yeah. 
I'm guessing that I just had the path cleared to them because those guys, they, they just went right for each other and we're, it was done, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do have to still get 1200 KOs, which would be a heck of a lot easier if I had the maximum combo, but I don't. But, you know, que sera sera. Yeah. I should have... Besides, you're... And let's face it, you're about, you know, halfway there already. Yeah. This is, again, this is Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition where things die in, like, four shots, so... Well, I gotta find the fairy food. I don't remember which keep that's in, but it's a golden food. And that's the main reason why we came here, was to get that fairy food. Because fairy food is good. <laughs> so the thing about the fairy food is levels that have golden fairy food, um, if you wait a certain amount of levels after completing them, um, the fairy, the gold fairy food will respawn in the level and you can go back and recollect it from that same level. Hmm. So... It's kind of nice that way. Got that, and... Bing! There's nothing in that one, and there's nothing in that one. And Discord is going off. Yep. Fortunately for, unfortunately for my server. Yeah, it happens. Yep. Uh, hmm. Alright, uh, we are pretty much good on KOs here, because by the time I get down there, I will have more than enough. I just gotta find that fairy food. It's gotta be in one of these. Uh, there's only two keeps left, so it's gotta be in one of these two, I imagine. Or the yep. keep that um, I took and I didn't check. And then that's gonna be a pain, because I don't know what that is. Which keep that would be. Well, let me check the <laughs> beard from the enemy keep. Apparently not this keep. <laughs> oh! Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. We have a bug. Oh? Yep. We, uh... My, uh, capture card just died on me for some reason. Oh. Oh. And, uh, I'm trying to get it back. Did it come back? Oh, that's what... Okay. Okay. Uh, but, it came back. Uh, I was gonna say, yeah, well, I guess that would explain why I'm seeing nothing right now. Yeah, no, uh... I plugged my Wii U into my HDMI splitter... And I knew I shouldn't have done that. Whenever the Wii U goes off of standby mode, for some odd reason, it kills my HDMI splitter every single time there is. And unfortunately, that causes food acquired. That causes the entire thing to just completely die. So apologies for uh, it, uh, going dead there people that are watching the episode. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I will have Card remind me between episodes to unplug my Wii U so that we don't have that happen again. Mm -hmm. But luckily I got it to uh, uh, come back. So I just had to remember which... Uh, port on the splitter my Nintendo Switch was on and just switched it back to that one. Now, I don't know why, but the Wii U absolutely insists on having dominance on the HDMI splitter. So as soon as it does anything and the HDMI splitter registers it, it immediately takes over. I can put it on slot 3 and the, H the Wii U will still take control of the HDMI splitter. So it's not even like, oh, well, the HDMI just splitter just goes to whichever is in the first slot. No, because the switch is on the first slot right now. Oh. 
and it switched to the second slot that the Wii U is on, which meant that I had to switch it twice to the, um, because it's, it's one of those where, like, there's only just the one button, um, so, like, every time you hit the button, it goes to the next one, and apparently the Wii U, the Switch, and... I don't even know what else is on the HDMI splitter. I think my um, Nintendo 64 is on it too. So I have one of those. Um, eight, I have one of those uh, RCA to HDMI converters. Nice. And then that hooks into the HDMI splitter at Decanut. And from there, I then have the ability to. Um, there's a warrior. Hey, we can play Link again. Limited. Uh, um, but from there, you know, like if I want to record something from my N64, I can do that, um, which is awesome. But the problem with that is that because I have the Wii U plugged in, it uh, likes to usurp command over all of the others and. Usually when that happens, I can't, I have to actually, like, restart all of OBS. So they're actually worried that we were going to have to restart the episode. Um, yeah. We didn't have to, much to my surprise. Oh my god, there's so many hearts. I don't even have Whoa. hearts plus. That was so many hearts just then. I don't even know yeah. why. <laughs> Hey, this is another capture all of the keeps level. Yay. This is fine because I have to capture all of the keeps. Anyway, because I don't know which keep has my fairy clothing in it. <coughs> Usually one of the keeps that is not required in capture all keeps. Which is yeah. funny because it's capture all keeps, but it's keeps not required. That are not required. Like what? Uh, it's one. Of, it's one of those where it says all of them, but there's a big, but there's a little asterisk next to all where, where it's like except except these except for the ones where you, where we're hiding stuff that you really want. Right. Pretty much. Yeah, it's like it's like trying to look over a contract all over again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That is the truth. I know exactly how that is. <laughs> That's actually funny. Um, so, in real life, I have a uh, a moped, a, a motorized scooter, um, you know, fifth, little fifty cc motorcycle type thing. Um, for anybody who is not immediately familiar with what a moped is. Um, but I had to go, um, I had to, uh, get financing for it because, you know, it's like 3000 bucks. And it's funny because I had to sign a contract to get the financing, except that the, uh, the financing is not even in my name because I have no credit. <laughs> so it's literally in somebody else's name but I had to sign the contract I was like okay I smell I smell a lawsuit <laughs> well it's it's like um, it, it's kind of like a co-signing thing is what it is Oh, okay, okay, so, okay, yeah. yeah, that I understand. It's the, it's not in, you know, it's not directly in my name, um, so, like, if I were to default on it, it would not actually affect my credit at all, um, but I still had to put my name on it because it was a, a co-signing thing, so, mm -hmm. uh, but... It doesn't affect my credit at all, which unfortunately also means that it doesn't benefit my credit if I pay it. Yep. But it doesn't hurt my credit if I don't pay it. So there's a conundrum for you. Yep. 
It's like, that's <laughs> great. I get to pay this thing. And I get to make all the payments and be on time with all the payments. And this would normally build up credit, except that I don't get to build up any credit because it's not in my name. <laughs> uh. And it can't be in my name because I have credit to begin with. The credit system is flawed. <laughs> a, lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of, a lot, a lot of it, institutions are flawed because, uh, because of how archaic they are and how and how inflexible they they are. They can be with with the diet with the with the changing of times. Yep, that is the truth. It's like credit was a great idea back when you know everybody was able to get on credit and stuff like that. And now, like, people just can't get credit because they don't have credit. That's but like, how can you get credit? But how can you get credit if you can't? If you're on if you're unable to get on credit, nor so you can get credit, so so that you can so you can build the score so that you can get credit. Oh no, I've gone cross the head. <laughs> exactly, that is the thing. So how do I build credit if I can't get on the credit to begin with? And like I had somebody tell me, it's like, well, yeah, there, you know, there is a way to start building up credit. They're like, you can buy this thing that's like four hundred bucks, and it's like my like the bank offers it. the The bank that I'm at, like they offer, it's not a credit card, but it's like a credit thing. I don't know what it's called. Um, mm -hmm. but it's like you buy it for like four hundred bucks, and then like. You like make payments on it, and it builds up your credit and gives you credit to begin with, and you do that for mm -hmm. like two years, and then you have credit. I'm like, okay, but what? that requires me to have that amount of money to begin with. The reason yeah. I need credit is because I don't have that amount of money to begin with. <laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> I can't get on credit because I don't have the money to buy something that would then give me credit but then I can't freaking build up credit because I can't buy anything to begin with. <laughs> like that, like, like that, like, and I, what? Circular logic. Circular logic is, is actually an awful. <laughs> It can be. It's like I was talking to a friend of mine the other day. Uh, I mentioned this in uh, your, I think in your server. Maybe it was the D&D mm -hmm. server. But I was like, yeah, like my friend here, you know, he's like trying to argue the whole idea of like lawful and good and all that. Like, it. Uh, oh, no, 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 I am pretty. I am shutting the. I am shutting the, this argument down right here, right now. We don't need the. Co we don't need the comments turning into turning into a, to a freaking playboard. I am not doing. I am not going down this road. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, but this is. I'm sorry, but this is an argument that I per that I, that I, per that I personally di dislike a whole, a whole lot because 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 personal interpretation can can, can, can completely ruin the whole. The, the whole argument in and of itself, so I'm not, so I'm not even going to, so I'm not even going to bring it up. Right. No, that was a lot of what I was saying. Though I'm like, it's, it, 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 it's a lot of circular logic, you know, and a lot of personal interpretation and. Yeah, but uh, but let's but uh, but you know as soon as you brought that as soon as you brought up y'all you know, as soon as you brought up started to bring up that I was like oh no 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 yeah because yeah. that's that's a topic for if not another time because that's an episode on its own right it's yeah, something just to not get into really because. There's just no, there is no inter, there is no singular, like, description of, you know. So. Of what, of what, a, yeah, what a correct answer should, could, would, or will be. Right. It's all. It really is all personal interpretation. I kept telling him that, and he's like, "Well, if I interpret." my character is this, but someone else says, I'm like, you both are. 
Yeah, you're both correct. It's <laughs> this. It is. It's Schrodinger's alignment. You're, you're both correct and incorrect, depending on dep depending on your depending on your uh, on your own po personal point of view and, and and personal biases because because of, because of experience uh, because of because of experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. So, so we did get very close. <laughs> so we did or did not? We did we did. I Yay. Just them up. So we're uh, we're good. We can finish off this level and uh, finish off this episode. So let me just uh, go rage against the uh, enemy commander up here and finish this off. Yep. Goodbye, all of you little people that are the oh, okay. Didn't expect them to do that right then. Reagan, stop teleporting. Ah! <laughs> I hate pose. Ow. Wait, what do you have? What do you have? What do you have against, against Panthers voice by Jack Black? <laughs> no. Oh, uh, love, love, love when I can do this sort of thing. Right. Okay, yep. that missed. Wait a weak point, smash the air there, Linkle. Hmm. Well, well, considering that, that ghosts are, supposed to, are just supposed to be some a a free form va uh, vapor in some cases, especially Poe, since they look because they look like you know, sort of the Ghostbusters, very much you know, like stuff like you know, Slimer and that sort of thing. So right. both, both a lantern anchoring them. I would not be surprised if they are just really air. <laughs> Indeed. Yay, and Linkle got a heart container. So that is awesome. Victory. And we can skip over these screens. And what very close did we get? We mm -hmm. ranked. We got four weapons that I don't care about. And uh, one of the Kokiri bands. So let's take a look at that. Find out which one it is. I think it's the fire one because it was red. But let's find out. Just hop into this mm -hmm. level real fast so we can get to the My Fairy screen. And uh, take a look. Because I know that there's a light one. But I don't know if that's the light one. Because it was red and it must, so it might be the fire one. Uh, you don't really care for that, so I'm not going to bother. Salon. Yeah, it is the wrong thing. And we got uh, water, actually. Huh. Red is Weird. apparently water. How odd. Alright, well, somewhere there is a light kokiri band, which is what I was hoping that was. Um, but it was not. So, alright, that's fine. Um... So, uh, I guess with that said, this might be it actually right here. Um, eh, we'll do more of this at a later time. Um, yeah, see. Because there's also fairy food there, so I definitely want to stop and do that at some point, but we'll do that later. Uh, if we want Twilly Midna, we can come up here. There's a fairy here. Um, there's also Skull Kid over here, and there is Tingle up here. So, we're getting close to being able to unlock some characters as well, so that is cool. Mm -hmm. Um, but there's like, still, because I have to like go all the way around here to get up there, or all the way over here. So there's still quite a ways away, but... Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is a good spot to end the episode off at, so I do hope that you've all enjoyed. If you have, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, feel free to check the video description down below for a link to the playlist, so you can get caught up on any of the episodes you may have missed. Um, and uh, check the video description for a link to my Patreon and novel. Those really help out the channel a lot. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Ciao. See you later.